All right, the next project on my wife's agenda is to build a concrete uh, and brick uh, bench here around our front maple tree. I'm basically clearing out all this junk here, getting rid of it, and I got it sitting on a stump because about a year ago we wound up having a uh, severe storm that knocked a limb out of the tree here and broke the legs. So there's part of the legs sitting there so we're just going to wind up trashing this and build something that's uh, brick and uh, uh, yeah basically brick, brick and concrete and using cap blocks similar to what we did in our uh, backyard here so uh, we'll uh, be getting this rolling here shortly and show you the progress. Oh wow, looks like a lot more work is coming. <laughs> Mas trabajo. A lot of brick. Oh man. Let me get a shot of this. <laughs> That's all for our little bench in the front yard here. So, yep, clearing out all this junk and construction starts today. Okay, so we got everything lined out here, but one of the issues, and I knew this would be a problem, is the roots from the trees. So we've got to dig a little bit deeper and chisel more roots out in order to get this footing done. Uh, otherwise, you'll start having cracks like this that's already developed in my stone sidewalk. So, yeah, it's going to take a little while to do, but. Ah, this is what the wife wants, so, uh, oh well, we'll keep proceeding. All right, concrete footing has been poured after chipping away the tree roots, and now the brick is getting laid. Muy rapido! Yeah. <laughs> so, here's another shot here. Alright, another update. It's coming along nicely. Again, we're on a bit of a hill here, so we had to put uh, one extra layer on the front and driveway side to kind of accommodate the hill. So that'll eliminate one level of block on the sidewalk sides there. But yep, coming along quite nicely. But as usual, we're running short of materials, so we're going to have to make another run for bricks, mostly bricks, and uh, try to wrap this up. That's quite it. Travis! <laughs> Oye, tu estimado en supplies? Que cosa? More bricks. <laughs> More mortar. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Más trabajo. Trabajo para todo el año. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's getting close to cinder block level there. There's another angle. Muy bueno. Ah, so close. Fell short by five bricks. <laughs> Aureliano's been doing this work for 25 years, he said, and still can't get estimates of supplies right. Ah, well, it happens. Especially with concrete projects like this, you gotta kinda overestimate. Zuster underestimation is can and can happen quite often. <laughs> well, there's an idea. Let's just steal some bricks from under the patio. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't need those under there anyway, so they'll serve a purpose.
Eso! Perfectamente! <laughs> now we can proceed with the seats. We're using the cap blocks. Yeah, time to break out the heavy artillery, do a little bit of brick cutting here. Gracias, Reliano. Bueno. Muy bien. <laughs> ah, another one. Gracias. <laughs> Muy bueno. Sí. <laughs> All right. Coming along quite nicely. This is where it gets really annoying. <laughs> Almost there. We're basically down to the last cap block right there. So we're short roughly two. Yeah, about two blocks. We've got pieces over there, so. Oh boy. Okay, I got two more stones to cut here, so that'll finish up this cap. Finish up that corner. Okay. Get these knocked out here. Excellent day. Sí. <laughs> Rápido. Sí. All right, it is officially complete. Well, that's kind of the idea of putting either roses or azaleas in each corner. Yeah, looks excellent. Thanks for watching.